sometimes your friend lets you borrow their SD card because yours isn't working. And then you drive all the way home forgetting that they have your SD card that had other clips on it that you need for this video. So you drive another two hours round trip tonight to get the card because dedicated or OCD. That's like the same thing, right? I think so. So air quality is a really controversial topic in Utah right now. People want to blame people who drive cars a lot, commute a lot. People want to blame the politicians. People are debating whether or not it's justified to make the problem worse by driving to get somewhere where the inversion isn't bad so that we can run safely without getting lung cancer. <laughs> We're gonna run Cascade Springs, but it's closed. So we are going up. Hey, Steve. Hey. Enough. On his morning off, Shut it. answers the phone while he's running. Not even bashful about it either. the drone at Bridalville Falls. It's too cold for the battery and too windy. Amazing. Whoops. Should probably stop for gas. miles on that last tank than I should. That's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna do a time lapse driving up the hill to my neighborhood so we can see if the air is any better up there. Holy crap. You literally cannot see the valley from here. So from where I'm sitting right now, you should be able to see all the way out to Antelope Island, up by the Salt Lake Airport. Stop for a second. Woo! Back to our previously scheduled time lapse when I get back to the car. <laughs> Not my fault. 
my best idea. Like I stopped to see if I was okay. <laughs> There's a lot of nice people here. You better hurry. Oh, okay. is crazy for running in this. He's gonna have lung cancer tomorrow. But one thing, one thing that's kind of cool when we get this inversion is that down the valley, the air gets so thick and it gets so cold. And you get these ice forests. to run and you have to drive an hour back up. Dude, check out this cool thing Spotify does. That's a player. <laughs> That's awesome. So I tried to get Christiane to come on this drive with me. Partially because I wanted company, because it's two hours round trip, to go get my stupid card with the rest of my clips that I need for this video. But partially so someone would babysit me because I have these. And if you know me at all, which of the 10 people that might watch this video, all of you do, so this is not news to you, I love these. These are my precious. These are my precious, and I love them so much. They keep me that much sugar. <laughs> keep it early though. So let's look at this, shall we? Serving size, 17 pieces. So I don't know who eats 17 pieces, like maybe 17 bags. Um, so that means the whole bag, there's three and a half servings <laughs> It's like a half cup of ice cream for a serving. Brian Regan was totally right. So let's do the math. Let's see, 18 grams times 3.5 because they don't do 63 grams of sugar in one of these bags. That is so much sugar. Oh my gosh. So, how do we don't do that instead of doing it? Okay, so I've come up with a compromise. Let me get creative. That mom and her kid look at me. <laughs> Thank you. Got my card back. You got a card back. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> 